Hey there, speculators. It's Roderick, lead futures trader of TDG Traders Dev Group, where we help empower system traders worldwide. Also, Futures on Fire, where we trade futures for daily income in our pro trading room PTR every day. Okay, in tonight's video, I'm going to show you a couple new cool things that I found on TradingView. You can check in the description below. I've uh, done some videos on TradingView. It's a charting application, very popular. You can go to tradingview.com and also find out more about how you can. Uh, potentially get access to some of the pro features if you'd like, but it's a completely free uh, application. And they have added the ability to, I got my glasses on tonight because I'm gonna have to look uh, look at these uh, very small text on this chart here. Um, I just thought of that because they're reflecting my eyes. Oh, by the way, before I get going, let's pause for these quick messages. <laughs> Okay, great. Um, so in another video, I was talking about how to connect to uh, various brokers. Let me show you uh, how to do that very briefly. Down here, you can see this thing that says paper trading. Uh, you can uh, toggle, maximize, minimize. And um, I'm actually connected now to paper trading. I don't know if paper trading comes with a free account or you need to do one of the upgrades. You could find out if you're interested in using it. It's actually a pretty decent simulator. And of course, it's web-based, so it's very easy to use. And uh, again, if you have one of the pro accounts, which is uh, very inexpensive relative to the power of this application, you can uh, check the description below for a link to save a little bit of money on that if you're interested. Um, so what I had done is I had connected my Tradeavate account, which is one of these brokers that they offer here. So TradeStation, most people are probably familiar with that, Futures uh, Stock and Options Broker. AMP is a Futures Broker, Alpaca and Oanda are Forex Brokers. And Tradeavate is the broker that I actually connected. Again, you can check the channel here for a video on how to connect to a Tradeavate account if you happen to have one. And then you can place live orders um, through, uh, through this interface. But I've found a couple order entry things tonight that were pretty cool. The one thing that's neat also so is you can actually toggle between. So I can move from tra uh, from paper trading to trade of eight if I want. As you can see, now I'm on um, trade of eight. This is a live trade in the M2K in my trade of eight account. By the way, I'm in the middle of a 300 challenge. I started with $300. Want to see if I can double that uh, each month? Um, almost doubled it in the first three days of doing it. So we'll see. Uh, easy come, easy go. We have very volatile markets right now. So the first thing that's pretty cool is you can, it looks like you can toggle between the various environments. I don't know if you can toggle between multiple brokers, live brokers and their paper trading. Uh, you might want to check that out if you happen to want to connect to a Forex broker as well as uh, a futures broker. Maybe you can do all three once you've logged in. I had already logged into Trade of Eight uh, tonight already. So um, just going to show you a quick little order entry thing that I found that was pretty cool. So I'm going to come to the MYM right here and I'm just going to uh, right click and end up buying this at market. So I'll say trade, buy, something like that. And I'm gonna sw switch it to a, a market order and I'm gonna buy one mini uh, Dow Jones here at around, uh, let's just call it 24, 412s. We'll see where we get filled. Okay, I hit the buy, all right, see how, uh, how volatile the markets are. That position's already down 30, 30 bucks, six ticks. Okay, now I'm in the market. I don't wanna be in the market without associated uh, uh, stop and target, right? You should probably enter these as bracket orders when you do it initially. But um, I found this thing tonight that's pretty cool. Uh, and a lot of platforms, it's a little bit more difficult to add these uh, orders after the fact. And you can see this is already going against me, so I better get some, some risk management going on here. So I'm gonna go back and toggle up to this position, which is this Dow Jones that I bought right here. I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna say protect position. Okay, and now I can check the take profit, I can check the stop loss, and I can go ahead and put these in place. Now 24,386, I bought at 24,411. So I'm risking about $125 from there. One thing that's a little weird is it always says pips here. Of course, pips is more of a Forex term. Do uh, stocks are gonna trade in cents. Uh, futures are gonna trade in ticks and point value associated with those ticks. I don't know if you can change this uh, here. Uh, you can see as this keeps falling down, it's, it's already not allowing me to modify. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and keep moving it down uh, to something like, I don't know, that. Okay, and then my profit target is 486. So I'm long from 411, profit target 486, stop at 360, and I'm going to go ahead and hit modify. All right, most orders have been placed. I can come now and look at them on the chart. That's pretty cool. So there they 
There, this is on a five minute. And of course, just like a lot of chart trading applications, you can drag and drop these, I believe, right? So I can modify these once they're even in place. And these are gonna be associated orders. So they're associated orders. I don't know why that's not allowing me to drag that up, but I was able to move the stop loss down. That's not good. Okay. All right, it wouldn't be a training video if I didn't uh, not know how to do anything. I'm not going to pause it and move on. I'm sure you can move those around. The point was <laughs> I could put them uh, in place and I can quickly toggle back to my live trade of eight account right here. And I could also put a stop target, stop and target associated with that. But I happen to already have one in. There's the trade of eight account right there that's trading that. Uh, all right, so that was the first thing, kind of cool. Then a little tip that I found that I thought was pretty neat for you technical traders, we're exclusively a technical trader. Um, by the way, if you're digging um, or noticed any of these uh, racing stripes that we have here, it's part of our price action series. If I go to, they're really meant to be traded on like a 60 minute. Uh, so we can see, did we get any signals, any turning points in any of these that would be meaningful to talk about? Here's a buy here, there's a buy there that clearly didn't work. MYM, no. You can go to 120 minute too and look for signals sometimes. Okay, here's some extreme buys on the Dow Jones that, that uh, took some heat on that, but this really caught a nice bottom there. Again, we're in a period of a pretty extreme volatility. You can check the link below for more information about uh, how you can uh, uh, get access to the price action series to learn more about it. Um, and while you're at it, maybe uh, just hit the like and subscribe button so you'll be notified of more videos when we're talking about rolling out these particular uh, custom indicators for trading view all right so here's this thing that i found today that i thought was pretty cool uh let me see it's on the es i know i can get to it so um down here in the bottom right hand corner my cursor's down here i'll do a really quick post production to point this out there's a little more button and i just found this today so i hit that more button and you can see it brings up um, a little dial based uh, indication of what oscillators and moving averages are saying uh, on various time frames, right? So I think it defaults to a day. I could go to one hour. And in the current market conditions, these are all going to be pretty strong sells. So if you happen to be a trend trader and you like using oscillators or moving averages and you want to make sure you're on the right side of the trend uh, currently, and this could change like uh, Seattle weather. Uh, we're seeing strong sell signals across all the stock indices at the time of making this video. So anyway, let me X out of that. Very easy to find, pretty cool. Down here in this right pane, if you don't have this right pane open and you're just learning this whole thing, it's this pane up here, the watch list details and news is, and then you have to select signal, a symbol, and uh, it was interesting. It didn't look like, oh yeah, it's there for the Dow Jones as well. So I did find a couple signals, a couple symbols, smaller future symbols where it didn't have uh, this technical analysis, but it certainly has it for those two symbols. All right, we'll leave it there for tonight. Uh, again, my name is Roderick. I trade futures every day on our in our pro trading room PTR, uh, where we trade for daily income as well as uh, teach people how to do some position trading. Um, it is learn and earn. It is real live trading. Uh, but more importantly, uh, this is a great environment where you can actually uh, learn in a risk-free environment by trading on the simulator. All you need to trade on the simulator is a very small account over a trade of eight, which you don't have to be trading, but that's a great way to pump real-time data into uh, this trading view application. One last thing, um, and this is a little bit of inside baseball, it's covered in more details uh, in another video where I talk about trade of eight, is uh, trade of eight itself has its own really nice trading application here as well. The reason that I trade off of trading view to trade of eight is because we have our uh, custom indicators and our signal being generated on this particular platform. And uh, we've also turned those into fully automated strategies that actually place the order. So that's why we do it. Before I go, let's come back and check our position in the Dow, making money, making money. As you can see right here, uh, I'm actually going to close. Uh, this is another thing you can do. Just hit the close button right there. Pretty simple. And I believe if I hit this close, it should also cancel all associated orders. Let's just test that. Pretty straightforward uh, kind of stuff that you would see from any charting platform. And as you can see, yeah, we're done. And there are little indications of this trade in terms of, of little visual errors. But I'm an older dude, and it's hard for me to see that very clearly. All right, leave it there for tonight. Again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you dig this. Leave a comment um, if you think it sucked. Hopefully you don't. And uh, tell your friends about it. Futures are a great way to get started in um, active trading. They are very capital efficient. 
They trade 23 hours a day, and most importantly, they have no pattern day trader requirements. So you're not uh, it's, you're not caught up in the nanny state that says that you don't know enough to uh, to invest a small amount of money and learn how to hone your skills in active trading. All right. Again, stay green and trade like you mean it. We'll see you at the next video. Thanks.